This is a light bulb with AC electricity flowing through it, flipping directions back and forth 60 times every single second. Now this is a light bulb with no frosting so we can see the filament and this is a high speed video camera at thousands of frames a second. And using these two things together we can actually visualize and see with our own eyes the electricity flowing in an electric circuit. Now this is around 1400 frames per second and you can clearly see the pulsating nature of the light coming out of this light bulb. And it's kind of amazing to me that we can't see this with our naked eyes because our eyes are just not fast enough. Now here's the same light bulb, but the frame rate is cranked up to about 3,500 frames per second. So you can really see the pulsating a little more clearly. Now I think this is really, really cool. I was able to get my high magnification lens out and really take a look at that filament. And you can just see the filament itself pulsing and glowing. At the very end here, the last few shots really show the intricacies of the filament and exactly how it glows, which I think is actually really cool looking. And the other thing that's interesting is if you look really carefully, you can see the filament itself moving. Not only is it pulsating in the brightness, but you can actually see it like a almost like a shaking chain or a shaking necklace or something jiggling up and down as the uh, thermal expansion and contraction of the metal happens. You can see it fit physically moving, which looks really cool. So there's just so much detail when you get up on the microscopic level that you can really see. There's the linear aspect to it, then there's the rotation around some sort of direction, and then along the coil itself it seems to be like this compressed slinky or caterpillar looking thing. So the construction of these coils is quite amazing. But how exactly does this work? Here is a circuit here with an AC source, and you can think of this resistor as being a light bulb. The electric current flows out of one side, but it doesn't go in one direction forever. It actually turns around and then goes back through, alternating in, in direction of the current 60 times every second in the USA and different frequencies in other places around the world. It's very helpful to visualize the current as a string. Instead of going in one direction, it basically switches and changes direction, going back and forth, back and forth at the frequency of the source, which in this case is 60 times a second. Now you might ask, why do we actually have AC electricity anyway? Why isn't it all just DC? Well, it turns out that it's actually easier to generate AC electricity in large quantities, and it's actually easier to transmit it over longer distances. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.